Hey guys, Sasha LeBaron here. Normally I test for Fishbowl VR in my day job, but right now I'm doing a little uh, side gig, a little review of Just Relax VR for Paul from the fabulous folks at Mostly Human Studios. This is a great little uh, Gear VR app and I hope it uh, lives up to the hype because there's a lot of really neat uh, ways that they're doing, mixing photogrammetry and CG inside the app should make for some really good visuals here in the Gear VR. So that's what we're gonna be testing tonight. So here we go. So I have already downloaded this app. It is a, it's a bit larger. It's 191 megs. And some people have complained that that's too big, but if it's going to do what I think it's going to do, then that's a good thing. And I'll explain why in a little while. Okay, just relax VR, here it is. <clears throat> so we're loading in, mostly human. Aha, a little Octo guy with a VR headset, I like that. So I, just for the record, I am a trained meditator. I haven't been for a while, but um, this should be exciting to see what's happening in the new virtual world. So the launch screen is nice and steady. A little bit of ghosting, but that's a, more like a refresh issue for the Gear VR. Just make sure everything's feeding here. Good enough. Okay, so it gives a clear instruction here. Experience best enjoyed with headphones. I've got those in. Tap the touchpad to change the time of day. Face forward, press the touchpad button to begin. Okay, let's do this. All right, I am on a, yeah, yeah, wow. Okay, now I see what he was talking about. The visuals are stunning. The beach is a long way away. There's a few coconuts here. The sand is at my feet. I hear birds chirping. And there's a boat. A very nice boat. Partially stuck in the sand. Okay, cool. So I guess I'm on a desert island because it's sand and sun as far as the eye can see. So I certainly hope this boat works because after a while I'm going to want to hit the road. Okay, so there is land over here. That's pretty slick. And yeah, um, the only thing I'm seeing here, I look down, where's my body? I want a body. This is the standard thing in VR, but I still do it. I feel like I'm on this beach and the graphics are stunning, I have to admit. The only thing I would say right now, well, two little nitpicky things. The coconuts in the tree are kind of a grayish brown, no, greenish, and they look like young coconuts. And the coconuts here on the ground are black and kind of a different shape. So I'm guessing these are CG coconuts. What I'd really like to see is a photo scanned, couple of photo scanned coconuts. Or, you know, if you're going to use the older coconuts, yeah, that, because that's a little bit of a mismatch for me right there. And the other thing, and I know this is a little nitpicky, but I want to see these, um, the coconut fronds move. I want to see these things like gently swaying in the breeze. I want to hear that rustling sound. The clouds are moving. Fantastic. I was wondering about that, if that was going to happen. There's some really nice highlights coming off the water and we do have land on both sides here. So I guess, I guess I can probably get back. It's a good looking sail and a pillar on that boat. So I've been told by the instructions that I can adjust the time of the day with the slider. Oh yeah. Whoa, dark. Okay. That, okay. Very interesting. Okay, fantastic. Wow. Okay. So now, aside from... Whoa. Okay, I see what they're doing. Very nice. Nice job, guys. So again, a slight nitpick. I know these are just, you know, I want the metaverse to be right now. 
But as I switch, <clears throat> the instructions said that the slider would adjust the time of the day. So my assumption is that the moon, or I mean, sorry, that the sun is going to move up and down in the sky like that. What it's actually doing is fading to a completely new scene. And I just saw a shooting star. I've got constellations. So here I'm going to nitpick again. We've got a fabulous full moon that looks very authentic. And I'm not sure where we are in GPS land. But I want to see at least, oh, there's another shooting star. Really nice, guys. Awesome stuff. I want to see the actual constellations up here. So if this star map is a, is a CG star map, then that's one way you can really up your game is to make this <coughs> star map accurate to, to where you think this island should be. Got the little tiki lights here. Fabulous. Again. There's no flicker. That would just up the immersion. Like we've got flicker on the water. I can hear the waves, but I wanna see these uh, lights flickering a little bit and I wanna see the wind moving those palm trees a bit. Because anyone who's ever been to this kind of a beach, and I have been to many of them, when you're on this kind of beach, there's always a little bit of wind. So that's something we need to, to tidy up. Okay, it's sunshine again, morning time. So what, we've got three settings, it looks like. Okay, so we've got, yeah, so sun, full sun, midday, kind of a late afternoon, just sunset. So the only thing I would say here, guys, is just bring that sun up just a hair because the shadows are, are nice and sharp and bright. And there's there's definite full sun on those on that ridge over there but I can't see the sun maybe it's just hidden in the clouds there but if there's this much light I'd like to see the sun and if there's not quite this much light then I'd like to see these shadows dump down damp down and just drop the lighting on the cliffs there a little bit just make it a little warmer hazier fuzzier so that it gives it that real twilight look so I guess we're gonna see here a touch again and we get the tiki torches, or I mean the uh, candlelight thing. Very cool, really like that. Full moon, and then we're back to... Okay, so we've got the three options. Fantastic. Let me just see what the back button does here. Back button takes me back to Oculus Home, so I'm gonna cancel that. Okay, we're still alive. Bump up the volume. And on your mark, get set, chill. Okay, here's another thing for you guys, or girls, or ladies, gentlemen, whoever's uh, the full team behind this amazing app. The waves are out of, the sound of the waves is touch out of sync with the size that I can actually see. So that's a little bit confusing. And in the background, you've got jungle sounds, birds. And I look behind me and I'm expecting to see that jungle and it's not there. So what I would say is if you're gonna do the bird sounds, which I agree with, yeah, so that's a jungly bird. So what I would suggest there is that you bring in some kind of shorebird that comes across from time to time, just super subtle, nice and small, that runs by and, and does a little Twitter, or one little bird that's that comes, hops up around here on this trunk and then disappears and then talks to you from the tree. Make that nice and directional because right now my brain is telling me there's trees behind me and there's no trees back there. As soon as I look, I go, eh, where's the trees? I can hear those birds, but they're not in the trees. So, I mean, we're talking really nitpicky stuff here, guys. I do this for a living. I'm a, a professional UX, UI design reviewer, t play tester, and I can tell you this is a fantastic experience. I'm definitely gonna be showing this one to people as a first time in VR experience. Um, and as we're all learning, there are a couple little things that I would tweak to make this even better. 
So I guess that's basically all we've got to, uh, to say on this one. It does exactly, I'm just gonna pop out here. It does exactly what it claims and what it advertises, which is give you the feeling of being on that tropical beach. You're literally on the beach in, ah, <laughs> it's amazing. So definitely worth the download especially for those few uh, few of us who haven't actually played with VR yet. This would be an amazing little starter one for your mom or your grandma, somebody you just want to show how amazing VR actually is. I would dump them in there right away and just let them be amazed by the sense of place, the sense of presence. And obviously if you want to take this up a notch, you definitely get some like, get a couple of nice radiant heaters beaming down on you and make it nice and warm so you get that 4d haptic like oh i'm at the beach feeling sit on a blanket or in a beach chair awesome there we go remove your device and cool it down so phone's going in the freezer and that's all for my review sasha lebaron i'm alt v rat i'm all over the place on twitter you can follow me there at s l e b a r o n i do a ton of stuff on vr there I'm reviewing for Fishbowl VR. I'm here, there, and everywhere. So thanks again for watching. Looking forward to the next one.